Hello everyone, welcome back to Sablam Trails. This is the first episode of our Gentian Dream Cruise vlog series, capturing every exciting moment from Port Clan, Malaysia to the stunning cityscape of Singapore and the vastness of the open sea. Welcome aboard the adventure of a lifetime as we embark on our four nights, five days journey on the Gentian Dream Cruise. Our cruise journey begins at the Port Klang, which is the largest port in Malaysia. It is located about 40 km southwest of Kuala Lumpur. The boarding time was scheduled between 3 to 3.30 pm and as we arrived, the first step was the baggage check-in. We smoothly dropped off our belongings ensuring a hassle-free start to our cruise experience. Next, we made our way to the waiting area on the second level. Here the process is simple. After checking our cruise ticket and passports, the staff assigned us tokens with the boarding group number according to the first come first serve basis. The waiting area is air conditioned and seats are available to wait. When our boarding time approaches, they called out these numbers and proceeded to the check-in area. It's an organized and efficient system that adds to the overall smooth boarding experience. After we proceeded to the check-in area, our details were verified and access cards were issued. This will be our onboard identity card during our time on the cruise. After passing through immigration, we made our way to the most awaited dream cruise. So ready to embark on a journey filled with luxury, entertainment and breathtaking views. Finally, we are on board. The staff welcomed us with open arms and without hesitation, we headed straight to our room in Deck 5. Welcome to our Ocean Wim Room, the home away from home on the Genting Dream Cruise. Stepping inside, there was a cosy bed perfectly positioned to overlook the vast sea. 
There are wardrobes to place your belongings and tea and coffee set up to make your own tea or coffee. We had a clean and modern type bathroom with all the necessary amenities. After settling into our room, we headed to Lido restaurant to have a quick late lunch as it was already past 4 pm. We were starving and honestly, that lunch was truly delightful. So we are still in Port Clan and it was scheduled to sail the ship at 8 pm from the Port Clan. Before the departure and after the onboarding of all passengers, the safety briefing was communicated physically in designated areas, broadcasted on in-room televisions and announced over the ship's speakers. During the cruise, there are different Wi-Fi packages that you can purchase. There's a Wi-Fi called RW Cruise Wi-Fi which allows you to navigate through the daily cruise schedule, show excursion details, cruise television channels, main restaurant menus and other cruise information by scanning the given QR code. After having a good nap in our comfy room, we headed to our dinner. There are a few free to dine restaurants to choose from on board the cruise and for the first day dinner, we decided to try out the Lido International Buffet on Deck 16. Before entering to the restaurant, they scanned our access cards and assigned a table number to have our dinner. There were dedicated and pretty extensive halal section, Indian, Western, Chinese and vegetarian cuisines. We really enjoyed the Indian section a lot. Having savoured the delightful dinner, we decided to take a chill stroll around the ship. We hit up the pool deck area and found a live band where people were dancing and enjoying. Everyone was free to join and dance with the band.
Kentin Dream Cruise has got 19 decks, 1,674 rooms, and a capacity of 3,352 passengers. So definitely one day is not enough to cover this whole cruise ship. After the walk, we were craving for some midnight snacks. So we headed to the Lido outdoor snack corner and had some delicious snacks and coffee. The snack corner operates when the main restaurants are not operating and until 2 a.m. in every day. And that wraps up the day one of our epic adventure on the Gentin Dream Cruise. In next video, we are diving deeper into this floating wonderland and sharing you our Singapore free and easy excursion. So make sure to subscribe our channel, hit the notification bell icon so you are the first to know when we drop our next cruise vlog. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.